you do use the duck or leave the duck uh these life vests are for people red tags are less than 90 pounds yellow tags are for those who weigh more than 90 pounds uh and we'll we try go. to gather together i'm going to turn on the radio so captain greg can uh keep in contact with the coast guard and uh, you guys ready Greg likes to take a break, and so when he does that, we 
we'd like to invite our young friends to come up, sit in the captain's chair. We'll take a picture if you like. And we'll work our way down. Either one of you guys want to come up here? You want to come up? There you go. And what's his name? Hobby? This is Hobby, everybody. Let's give him a big hand. Nice job. Nice and brave. First one. Big smile. Let's show those choppers, huh? There we go. There we go. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job, Bob. Okay, going down. Is that her sister? What's her name? Ojean. This is Ojean, everybody. Ojeana. Big smile. There we go. Oh, All right, come on down, dear. Nice job. There you go. I did not have to do that at all. Not mine. And what's your name? Oh, that's my wife's middle name. Really? Are you done? Okay. Let's have a seat here. There you go. This is Grace, everybody. Let's give her a hand, huh? Grace, put your hands on the wheel. Oh, well, too late. There you go. There you go. Grace. 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 You're welcome. Working our way down, working our way down. Either one of you guys want to do Okay, let's let her come up and then you guys. Come on up. And what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Izzy? Izzy, this is Izzy, everybody. Give her a hand, huh? Yeah, come on yeah. up here. There you go. So Charles yeah, River Divide of uh, Boston and Cambridge.
high school, my dad made me memorize the phone call, the builder. I only remember the first four verses out. All are architects of faith, working in these worlds of time. Some with massive speeds and great others within these walls of rhyme. Now, Captain uh, Greg is going to be making a half circle. I'm going to be pointing out buildings to you on the left. But I'm going to be going right to, I'm sorry, on the right, going right to left. So, for example, that building with the big, the building with the big white uh, golf ball looking, that's MIT. I don't like MIT. They didn't accept me in the business school, but we'll just move on. That building looks like stacked books at Boston University. That is, they did accept me, so I like them. These uh, beautiful buildings that you see going right to left. These are the three tallest buildings in, uh, in New England. The far right is the Dalton building. The, uh, the building in the middle, that's the Prudential. That's where we picked you guys up. The uh, green building with the racing stripe down the side. That's called 220 Clarendon. And we'll see that at the end of the tour. As we continue moving right, you may notice a small sailboat. Let's quack out. Are you guys ready? Quack, quack, hey, quack. You guys, let's try it again. Hey, dude. Quack, quack. There you go. So those little sailboats are called starfish. And this is the company on the right. This is the community boating center. So if you're a kid in the Boston, Boston area, you can do the age of 10 and 18. You can learn how to sail for a dollar a year. Isn't that great? Isn't that wonderful? Okay, now, remember I was, uh, one of, everybody remember 40 Beacon Street? Remember, Andrew, remember that? So I'm going to talk about that now. So Fanny Appleton, she was the daughter of a very wealthy industrialist from Wisconsin. Very beautiful. Extremely beautiful. Uh, she was the first woman uh, to uh, have a baby with anesthesia. It's amazing. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, at the time, very famous poet, very popular, everybody loved him. First time that he saw uh, Fanny Appleton, he asked her to marry him. And she said, no, I don't want to marry a poet. Go away, leave me alone. So he kept asking, she kept saying no. Leave me alone. I can't. I love you. I don't care. Go away. I'll write poems for you. We'll travel. We'll have fun. No thanks. Go away. Leave me alone. He kept it up for seven years. And so finally, one day, he got home, opened up a letter, and all it said was yes. So he skedaddled across the bridge at the time, and that's where they were married. Now, the reason I'm telling you that story is because I love it. And to me, it's just a really good example of perseverance person in today's world, he probably would be arrested for stalking, but it's still a wonderful story. I'm sorry, what was that? Sure. Well, let's wait, a, let's wait a minute or two, okay? I want to make sure they can hear us. Now, this building on the right, this is the Massachusetts uh, Eye and Ear Infirmary. It's the number one specialized hospital in the whole world. When Adele was having problems with her throat, that's where she went. She could have gone anywhere, that's where she went. Okay, you guys, nice and loud. Just a second. Nice and loud. Hey, dude. Quack, quack. Hey, dude. Quack, quack. Well, I hope they heard us. Quack, quack. Hey, dude. Now, the building just to the uh, left, that's Massachusetts General Hospital. That's the number one research, I'm sorry, the number one, yeah, number one research hospital in the world. They primarily specialize in cancer research, that's what they do. To the top 10 best hospitals in the whole world. I have a relationship with that hospital. It's true, it's true. They have my gallbladder. Yeah, I know that might be too much information, but I think it's funny. So I was in the hospital for about three or four days, and so I had to take a survey. Now, did the survey ask me what I thought of my care? No. Did they ask me what I thought of the nursing staff? No. Did they ask me what I thought of the food? Isn't that funny? I still can't believe it. Let's talk a little bit about the charities that we support. Now, we support three charities. I remember when we asked if you wanted to round up to the next dollar. Remember we asked you that? And if you did that, 
uh, thank you. What we do is we take that extra money, we at the end of the year, and we pool it, and then we match it. And then the three charities that we support, one is that uh, community voting center that we saw. That's the uh, um, so the cleanup boat that goes all up and down the river once a month, cleans the river up. But the charity that we support, the one that we support the most, that we love the most, is called uh, the Needs Program. And it's an organization that actually uh, teaches dogs to provide comfort and security and safety for our veterans that are suffering from a post-traumatic stress disorder. And that's one thing I love about working for Duck Corps is that they love veterans. My dad was in the Marine Corps for 30 years. That explains a lot of why I am the way I am. But yeah, it's really great. Do we have any veterans on the duck? I'm just curious. Any veterans? Now, you see these signatures. These are signatures of all the veterans that have been on board. We got some assignments. So that's what this is. Right here. Now, on our left, that is the Museum of Science. Now, is anybody planning on going to the Museum of Science next day or two? Anybody at all? Oh, good. Hang on to your ticket. You can get a discount to get in. Okay. Uh, same with the uh, Newman Aquarium. For those of you who are going to go to the aquarium, same thing. Yeah. Now, a lot of weddings take place here at the Museum of Science. A lot of marriages take place here. A lot of weddings and uh, a lot of marriages take place here. Anybody know why? Well, the reason is because chemistry. Uh -huh. There's lots of places you can exercise. What you're looking at is that is the Suffolk County Jail. That's what's located there. Now, when Boston announced that they were going to be building a jail in 1991, everybody who lived here, they had a connection. Oh, and by the way, that's one of my favorite words to say. They're very upset. The expression 
Frederick Nimby right out of my backyard. So they forced the city of Boston to come up with four different architects before that was approved. Remember I was saying earlier, uh, Boston has a uh, has a jail that looks like a hotel, and they have a hotel that looks like a jail. The old jail is now a five-star rated uh, hotel. Yeah, I stayed there. Liberty Hotel or something. of the river safely so anyway, i was talking about this i was talking about this uh <laughs> skate park 